Hey guys, Gloria to back from a very hot uh, England. Our summer's finally kind of started. It's just ridiculous out there. Um, but we did find time to go over to Ashby again and visit Extreme Games. Uh, there's going to be some footage for you to see um, and have a look around the shop. Uh, the guy was very nice, let me have a look around. There was no one else in there. So I've got some great footage for you guys to see. So take a look at that.
And now you're back. We'll show you what we've got. So, um, we've got one game on the PS2 this time. Um, it's Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run. Uh, this looks like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I think it is. I'm not sure. It's the only one I've not played. I do have the first one on PS2 and the second one on the Xbox. Uh, this was just two quid. Um, yeah, it's, it's in great condition. Manuals, everything's there. Um, I'm sitting on the floor because it's just more comfortable. Plus, you get to see. These are my original Xbox games. Now, this collection is really taken off. This is double facing, like this this amount behind there as well. Plus, all the games we've been picking up are piled on the floor because I've got nowhere to put them. I need some more of these units and more space to make room to get some more stacks going. Like the PS2s getting crazy as well. So, this stack here. We've added to it with quite a few more original Xbox titles. So for just a pound, we've got Pirates of the Caribbean. Now all these games have the manuals, they're all in great condition, no fault, so bonuses here. And all the rest of these games now were two pound each, all on the original Xbox. Um, one I've not even seen before, or even heard of, it is in brand new condition, absolutely perfect. Goblin Commander Unleash the Horde. So, we're going to try that out. Uh, the original Sniper Elite, so the first one, again, brand new condition, not a mark on case or disc. Fantastic, love those games. Uh, Hunter The Reckoning, which is the first one, we've got the Redeemer as well, so we've got both of those. Uh, Nightcaster, I've seen this around a few places with quite high price tags on, so for two quid, pick that up. Uh, again, another one I've seen. Uh, on a few consoles, but I want it on the Xbox. Uh, the reason I'm getting most of these on the original Xbox is because over the PlayStation, the graphics were better. Um, the uh, obviously the Xbox has its own hard drive, so it's easier to save your games. You can save so much stuff on there rather than the PlayStation memory card, which just eats away. Like I've got so many memory cards and they're already full, so I'm trying to get them more on the Xbox to save memory card space and hard drive space. So Mortal Kombat uh, Deception. Uh, this one has various mini games like your Con Conquest Adventure, Chess Combat, and Puzzle Combat. So, yeah, so as well as the fighting, we've got mini games to try on there as well. I don't know if you remember uh, a while back we had all them conflict uh, games like Desert Storm and everything. You may notice the only one I didn't pick up was the first Conflict Desert Storm. So, bam, we've got it. So that's all the conflict games now, I believe we have all on the original Xbox. Great. Uh, a great film, don't know what the game's like. Blade 2. So, uh, just want some vampires and slay some ass on that. We have Call of Duty 2, the big red one. Now, I did like the old Call of Duty games, they were great when it was World War. Um, so, interested to try this one out. Uh, that's the only one that has got scuffs on the case as well, it's not in perfect condition, all the rest are pretty good, that's the only one that's just got like sticker marks or it's just a bit worn but it's fine. Um, the game I've had on the 360, the Red Dead Redemption, we have Red Dead Revolver, the first one, so get to see how it all started, uh, see if the stories are interlinked, I'm not sure, uh, but again, fun little game, and something I've never played but I've always been aware of is Blood Rain. So we have that as well. And while I was there looking around all the other games, all the PS2 collection stuff, uh, I got a copy of Cypher Filter. Uh, the Amiga Strain last time I was there, uh, but if you remember it had no manual. Uh, he did have another copy there today, it was only a pound. So I picked it up, hoping it, it got the manual, and it did have the manual. Um, and I, I asked him, like, can I just buy the manual? Uh, if not, no problem, I'll buy the disc again. But uh, he wasn't really bothered because I bought so much. He actually gave it me. So he just gave me the manual, which is great. So now I have a full collection for the Siphon Filter Mega Stream. So that was very nice of him. Thanks for that. That's great. So that was our kind of mini haul from Extreme Games. Uh, you've seen the footage of what it looks like in there. Fantastic place. Some great deals on some of the games and stuff they've got in there. Uh, if you are local or can get to it, go check it out. It's fantastic. And yeah, so 
hope you've enjoyed. Uh, any comments on the games I picked up today, let me know if you've played any of those. And uh, like and subscribe for future videos, helps me out, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers guys, bye!